Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello guys, Set of Beast here, as we are about to be setting up for our next matchup of the NHL 24. As this next one is going to be a good matchup to go in the Eastern Conference versus the Western Conference, this is about to take things on for the next matchup. We have the Chicago Blackhawks, and as you tell, they've won two straight seasons of a game, and they're facing against the Columbus Blue Jackets on the other side of the team. Now we are going to tell you who's going to be a starting goaltender. We have his Arvid Solobor and Perry Maratek. Now I'm not very really sure what the names are spelled correctly, but how you pronounce it, it's very that difficult. But I can tell you now, I think it's going to be Arvid Soderblom. He will start for his goaltender. And as for the other side of the Blue Jackets, Spencer Martin will be the starting goaltender for the Blue Jackets. As you may have already guessed it, there is Noah Maslovich. So as right now, he's already been not coming along with here. But as you may already know, it's a new changeup for her anyway. Now, let's head on down in to the Chicago Blackhawks starting group. We don't have any X-Factor players as we are starting from here. Seth Jones has the ultimate superstar ability. The thunderclap, send it pass, and quick picks on the interceptions. He's gotten really good at it, but still looking for an one to take it all. Then we have his Connor Bittard. Make it snappy to go with a stride. Shock it all moment of the great shooting out of the toe drag and beauty backhand, the same thing that goes with Chris Sidney Crosby. And finally, it's Taylor Hall. He's has gotten some big rigs and wheels. Now, on the other side, we have is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Johnny Guru has gotten a puck on the string and he's the only guy that can try to take all of it down with his Ely puck handling. When he has that puck on string, he can try to hold it from here. Take the stick of the puck and then hold it from here until the time does right. Because when he does that one well, he can try to like keep it right in it. As tight it goes, he wants to give it up what he wants. Zach Wierenski is a seeing eye, tape to tape, and stick him up the fence. Then Patrick Lane has an angle breaking on a great takes of the high speed, one T, make it snappy, sniper the great puck settling, and shock and awe moments. And finally, we have his bony Jenner. Only a quick draw for face-off ability. And that's going to be it. Now standing by, as I have here in between, it's Terry Crews, and he's also along with some other guys, Boomer and Gangster Beast. The center ice will be determined, and it will be all in between. Fan in the center ice. I'll be back with the post-game show after this game is finished. Guys, it's all yours. Let's do it, team. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. Terry Crews along with my broadcasting partners in between. And it's game time here in Wenshin Wide Arena. Off to the face-off, and here we go. On a start running for the Hawks, we have his Polegno. The stop puts up by Martin. That'll be the first stop here for the saving tonight. On his way back down, right towards the other side. Here we have his Feligno. Feligno on a cross step. Takes it over as Provorov with the steal. Takes it over to Kudera. On his way down, passes it across now again to Jenner. Battling for the loose puck. Kudera recovers it. Puck leaves his own as Everson will take it over again to Paranon. Pull it away, now finds Kudera. Offsides the whistle as it will be on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Face off is next and on its way down in Columbus. Jenners with the face off win. Bernicom gives off to Provodov. Give it right over again to Severson. Now he gets again to Bernicom. Marchenko right now finding again to Severson. Severson on a shot. Kyle get up the first rebound to stop the run. Jones takes it over and he will have that one in his first look on the other side of the parents run. 
Locks it up away as it launches out. Now he will give it off to Varakov. Coming up in the last season again with a loss in the shootout against the New Jersey Devils. And you'll be seeing their next game on its way down. This was a tough one that everyone has been facing here, guys. What is your take? Well, they really are into the bat of the pursuit of the height. I just can't really tell that it was really that tough how it does happen. Because Columbus Blue Jackets, they're a really a good team. I never saw that what was going to happen like this. And season one comes up with a devastation. They had a loss against the other team of the Detroit Red Wings. This wasn't that good at all. First goal comes in for the Jackets. Bobby Chernikov, as he has his first goal. There's the cannon that goes with the first one for the Jackets. You know this take over here because the Jerenkov had it right in the middle. He had that one right again at Murzak. And that one turned to be a very clear look. On the other hand, on his way down. When you give up the pass run, you just get it right in now. The start run puts up for the Columbus Blue Jackets as Sherikov put the first goal of the night. Has a start with a 1-0 lead. No win comes in for Chicago. Murphy going again to Redditch. Looking over again to Korchensky. Stop at the pin bound by, by Rosalkin. Chernakov will have it over to Texier. That puck is out of reach. Sillinger to Gubbernson. He gives it back over to Sillinger. Over back the outside. That point inside Rosinski. Good puck moving here for the Blue Jackets. Turn him with the slot. Backs it up again. Now finding another look in the offense. Chicago has their puck inbound. Murphy across from the board. All on his way down. For an left right wing. Point blank range. Stop by Merzokans. He'll have that one first to cover it up. That'll be your starting goaltender for the Jackets. Now, I know this wasn't really that happening. I can definitely say that, Mer that uh, Merzokans got really got a lot of saves this point. But not to all of you out there for no other tough ones, they're going to get that one a lot harder than they did. Merzokans stop away as Kuderov picks it off. Jenner with the puck. Moves it across. Fires the puck around the net. Here's Sam Four. Keep the puck to Jenner. New switch off for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Gumpertson now finds Bean. Bean in the backhand. Bogbest rebounds. Can't pick it up. Now there's no way that they were really are trying to make that one fill out. This motion of the mind is really changing up the force man. They are not seemingly they're going to get this one enough. But no this. Because when you have somebody around, Take it away. Don't have your players come out with a hard offense. They're going to get their run. Bean backhand stop by Zedidev. Here comes the Hawks. Perry will have the puck. Deep pass to Dickinson. Dickinson right towards it. Johnson shot. Takes a slap and bound with the save by Merzlikens. You really have to make that call. If Merzlikens got to get that one in bound, that's what everyone is going to go for. They've got to make that one here. Bean will give it off quickly to Kaparli. Kuroli behind the billion to Bovis. Here's Virgin Senko. Marchenko release man. Shot's been denied. It goes over right toward the board. Kaser finds Donato. Putting inbound finds again to Johnson. Johnson pass. That takes it over and Bovis with the puck. Anderson takes the inbound to deny the goaltender. Take it inbound. Lost the puck over the stride shot. This was nowhere to go. You can't just really tell that they were going to get out of here. Uh, most of the time, they don't want to get away with that. Offside whistle as right now the play stop is inbound with under 11 minutes to remain in the first period. Still got a 1 0 lead for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Looking for more to get back in it. Now back to airway. Severson takes over to Marinsenko. Over now to Severson. Turns over the back. Marzak with the save. That will be the start run for the Blackhawks. Off and ready to take the face off again. It's still a 1 0 lead as right now we are under 11 minutes to remain. Now Chicago wins the face off. Trying to take an inbound. Kurashev right into the center ice zone. Looks to inbound. Shot went wide. The Jackets are now back into the offense. Now finds Severson. Looks in forward. Jones takes that puck steal. 
The Black Hawks will be getting regrouped. Batard right towards into their left. Looks inbound. Prolov with a steal. Ronkov right on the other side of him inbound. Takes a release and shot. Sersak check with a save. And now back to Chernikov. Now find Perov. A two shot. Blocked by Jones. Now that is a lot of a hard addition in offense. They're just going pick to pick. Great pack steal, but it doesn't help. Across the line is Gutwitzin. Feligno will have the puck in the center ice position. Moves it down. Krejcik time takes the stop. Beautiful tender stopped away by Gutwitzin. He's really on a hard breaking way chain. You're just really get, getting over this for well. Not to be intense there forever, but this is a lot of hard ones to take. Oh, he didn't get there in time as Marisek with the stop. 8-10 remaining in the first period. Now Chicago back to work. Hall on his way down into the Blues Jackets territory. Looks across. Rachel up. That's blocked. Stumped away. No penalty called on Columbus. Another big stop. He uses it over to Danford. Danford almost lost the puck away but recovers it on. Jenner right towards the right. Looks it over. Wierenski. Shot is denied. Jenner finds Gutmanson. Shoots for Leesman. Fires away. Hits the glass. Full pressure on Columbus now in the territory. Puck leaves his own. And now Marisek, and now Herzlcheck will give it to Danford, back to Jenner. Oh, he just went bangling down. Not even a tough one, they're just trying to make that one forceful. Shot stopped away by Zercek. They're going over now, and now Murphy finds the other way to go back at the offense. Puck takes away. Murphy recovers it. That stop made by Herzlcheck. And now finds Kuali. He finds Olivier. Oh, he just has huge step. That puts him a save inbound by the goaltender. There has to be a one way to make a solution out of it. You're going to get that one a lot hard and make it quick. A pass finds the work job. Jackson up. Oh, it's blocked away. Check gets her back in the offense now. And Kuali. Dish the pass. Being shot. Merzel check save. He's going to hop for the whistle now with only 5 of 1 remaining in the first. Officials are getting set, ready for the face-off. The win comes in as Parloff with the rest of set. Get back to Parloff. Now find Sixter. Looks fine, Sillinger. Sillinger. Taking the puck, loose chain, and now he will reset it again to Severson. Going back to Perloff, and on the full pressure. Get back to Severson. Puck leaves his own. Turgakov, oh, he just got punched out. Sillinger recovers it. Now fine text here. Goes down. Kaser with the puck now finds Johnson. On the pressure attack. It's 6 and 9 p.m. Bogolov with the puck. Now finds Sterchenko. Marsenko pass. Broken up. Faligno on the puck release spin. In the corner range. Go for blank. Shot stop by Mercer Kings. This is no way to make that one feel like they're on the stop run. This pressure has to be done and clean. They're getting away with that one big. Hawk leads his own in the Blue Jacket territory. Now get back to Feligno. 2.20 left in the first period. Looks him down. Russell can stop. Now finds Vernikov. On a fast break. 1-1. One -on -one. And he lost that puck in this very last stick with the, with the puck inbound. Jones gives the Kuraska. Kurashev into the right. Get part of the shot. Stopped away by Mursil Kings. Two times stop. They're all over this now. Because you know that Mursil Kings was making a big save. They're making this one feel like they are improving it. That's a lot of enforcement. Brian Cobb right into it. Columbus back to work. And in the offense run finds Wierzynski. 
Looks again to Garkov. We're in a minute remaining in the first period. Garish after Jones. In his own entry, Betar is a shot. Mercilik ends with a stop save. Just under 30 seconds remaining in the first period. Looking for a goal to take ahead. Now they're ready to do an our face-off in the zone. Jackets still have a 1-0 lead over the Chicago Blackhawks. Make a win. Mopest with the puck. He gives off to Olivier. Give to Bobest. Corrali got bumbled up with the, the traffic defender. And Johnson trying to take his time with a shot. Stopped by Mercikins. What a great save. And that's the end of the third, first period. All takes for one. It's a 1-0 it's a game for the Jackets. We'll get to the second period when we come back after the break. Welcome back to Wave Nationwide Arena. We're starting off with the second period as the puck's about to drop. This is a fun encouragement as we have it coming nearby. I'm standing along here along with Buller and DJ Peace. Sorry, the gangster piece I should call for it, I wouldn't sure. Let's have a take here for the first half, first period recap. They really are starting to make this offense go a lot longer. Longer than they expected, they've been like playing all over again. Yeah, I must tell you, this is not really that tough. How defensive it is, they're turning out that big. They're trying to make this one clear out. And not to make that aggressive out of this is this, because they really are off to a step inbound to try to take the game out of it. This is what the courtesy does. They can't leave the open mark. Chicago has the puck now, finds Lastic. Khrushchev toward the middle. Severson takes the puck away. Bernard shot. Hit it up in the side of the pad. You're making that one feel like it's aggressive. How much are they doing this? They really are pushing it right away from Crossman to have that in bound. Severson with the puck. Lost that one. No penalty called on Chicago. Mercer Kings with the puck, and he's going to hold up for the whistle with 17 for you to go. Now, what's the call for the goaltender? I have Fan in the center ice. He's standing by. Thank you so much, Jerry. As I must mention to say that Mercer Kings has been really being over it by himself. His coach has been touching him unventurally. They turn out to be on the, on the top call at the end. This is a battle taken bound. You have to make sure this point where connection works. This offender has been turning like an all over on his side, and they're going to make that one feel like this is a hard one to maintain. Mercedes got really well at this, but they're trying to do a lot of concentration out there to go from here. I'll try to keep an eye on the goaltender if he has an hour one. Back to you guys. Mercedes with the stop of the glove pad, as right now the faceoff is on. Still on his way down. It's still a 1 0 lead for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now Chicago wins another faceoff. Here comes Hall, right towards the left. Take him down! Rewrite directed as it's stopped made by Russo Kings. Murphy shot, Tech Shear with the block. Put up a big save off that boy. They're going right around it. I see it's waved off. Tech Shear right in it again, finding Trevikov. Moves it quickly to Cup Brunson. Back pass to Bean. Bean on the shot. Hit up with a stop save by Russo Kings. Juracek over again with the rebound. Not going to be able to take that one, but that was a close call. He almost would have had the goal, but the referee would have denied that one. I guess it might be a very tough on offense, but they're trying to get over this. This offense is not really easy. With the winning faceoff, here's Bean. Lost the puck, and Stickinson takes it over back to Perry. Defending the pressure. Bobas lost the puck. Murphy takes it over, and as right now, the full pressure's off. Perry and Kalari with the in pass. Back to Bobas. Now by Jerichek. Looks it over. Bad pass. Columbus back in the offense zone, now picking up steam. Holds it over to Olivier. Pass broken up. Johnson takes it over. Now find Murray. Dickinson right towards in the center. 
and double man defender. Now back the airway to the Columbus Territory to Chicago Territory. Boyakov. Oh, he did not get that one right in time. Marzenko. Right by Matilla. Short backhand stop me by Mirzacek. Mirzacek will have that puck inbound with only 13.37 to go. These are the tough goalies. They're trying to get over this and out. Well, they're not able to make that one feel like they're really comfortable to get over this. I know this is really that hard, but don't judge them. You're not really uh, fantastic if they're going to go over this again. If they're going right between here, you've got to help them out. This is not what they were going to go for, and they need to try to figure something else out. Not the not tough one, not for everybody's game. On the fast break. Pass over again. The Matilda is off again. Get back to Elastic. And whistle right again into the offense side. Taking the shot. Got too many bodies in the way, and it now goes back over to Barakov. Back pass to Wernski. Look it over. Hall takes an air pad away, Steel. Hall race alone. Saved me by Merzlikens. 12 10 to go. Oh, it's like a full push out. Just on the boost run. Well, had that saving coming. The face off win. Jones, good stop. Right over for the net. They're starting to go big on here. They're not really just trying to, like, Keep it back into the offense side. They're just going over it. Danfer, get back out of here. As Vlasic will have that rebound. Now finds Reichel. Here's Reddish. In his own entry. Jones, take that big stand. He finds Reichel. Shot, stop again by the goaltender. Takes it over to Reddish, back to Hall. All in now. Severson with the puck and now find Jenner. Looks like Danfer. Danfer, fine Prolov. With the release back, one timers tipped away. The puck race leads out of the zone and Prolov will have it again the next year. And they're going to have that one a lot, that call. They're just not easy on that call. You just can't make them feel like they're already like push them out of the way. They feel like this is going to hurt, and that's going to be a hard one to try to stop them down. Well, Agno with the puck. Takes it away. Good stop on the run. Sillinger back the other way to Chernikov. Khrushchev right into the center. And Chernikov back again to Bean. On his way down. Chicago has the puck. Now finding again to Murphy. Passing the midway mark of the period. Looks it over. Nobody around him. And Bean back the airway. Puck leaves out of the net. And Gudera will have it again. Now finding down to Cherkov. Cherkov right over again. Sillinger scores! That's a tough mission and 20 goals for Sillinger. They're making it easy. Not just only the way that they're trying to feel like they're already over the place. That's when you notice that goal turned out real. you got to believe on Sillinger because when this puck releases a string, this cannon just put it up right in between. The effective and it just went stilch. That just deflected right away in its instant. Sillinger really had that one a great look. And as far as Shaka Kami has that one with the points, you can feel that this energy is turning out great. It's all been moving there, folks. They're just making that one feel like they really wanted to get it over with. They're turning out that big, how impressive they're going with. Back to Governson, now finds Wierenski. Looks to Governson. Sillinger with another one. Hit off the timer and stop again by Ruzek. Kurashev in the right. Give it away, and back to get the Batar. Hold the stop made by the goaltender. They're still going it, looking clean. Merza kids, unbelievable save. 7.29 remaining in the second period, ready for another faceoff. Now back in strength, the Jackets have the extension 2-0 over the Chicago Blackhawks. Winning faceoff occurs, and Oliver give off to Wernski. He's off to Gilbertson. He's on his way. Duncan! 
Not enough chance to have the extension free. Oh, that's stopped away by the goaltender. And Shatshev will have that puck take away. He get back to Johnson. Calls it fast. Johnson, bang the pass. Doesn't be able to connect it from here as it goes too close to the net. Wierenski right finally again to Corey. Crawley right into the left. Get back to Parlov. Behind the net is Marcenko. Pass broken up. Here's another one for Johnson. Take away from inbound. Out of the crush in the, in the corner of the board. Now find Matilla. Fantilla right toward it away. On a cross move. Shot. Hold it up on the first set save. He's falling up way up behind it. He's not giving up with that for <laughs> That's for sure. They're just going to make that one feel like they're He's all in his head. Just got to believe it. Another win for the face-off of the Jackets. He finds Everson. Looks to Merseco. One-timer. Stopped away by Merseco. Jones back the other way. Giving it off another huge run. Oh, got a little battle takedown here in between the boards. Now give off to Patilla. Fantilla to Marcenko. Pass. Still holds on. Now find Bean. Bean give off to Marcenko. Juracek on outside. Looks it over. Good pass work here for the Columbus Blue Jacket. Until a shot. Burakov with the rebound after her toes goes to fuck it. Passes back to Burakov. Hawk leaves his own as Juracek will have the puck in bound. Now finding a way over now to Bean. Back to Marcenko. Passes over to Pantilla. He goes down and Hall has it back. The Blue Jackets are back in the offense as Stanford has one. Now finds Bean and passes to Shortjack. Hold away from the big tiny. No man's defended and now the group has gotten tired. They now switch their lines up as Falagno will have it been puck and bound. Here's a pass. Frazier stopped away by Musikant. He's already on big here. He's just been selected. Jenner with the block. And Denver on his way. Brzezinski trying to deflect one in. That has been taken away down this point and outside of range. Now find Denver. Looks down to Gubbertson. Here's a shot. Hit away from it too soon. It goes right on the side of the net. Passing the two-minute mark, and here comes Kudera. Kudera lost the puck. Malegna will have that one right the other way. Kicked it away as Gilbertson has it out. He finds Sellinger. Here comes Kudera. Shot! Stop by Marisek! That's a saving man with a minute and 16 remaining. Oh, this fast break's going to be a hard one. They're taking pressure. This is no way that they're trying to mess, like, mess somebody up. Back to a winning faceoff puts up for the Columbus Blue Jackets, but the time is running out in the second period. One more minute to go. Sillinger recovers the puck. Give it back. Dickinson takes it over. Releases. Severson has it away. And Chernikov back to Sillinger. Sillinger on his way down. And Bogfest got banged up. He finds Chernikov. Shoots up on the right. Mersak with a save of 15.2 seconds. Time is running down as this is coming to be a 2 nothing lead over Chicago. Winning faceoff comes in and Severson has it across. Now finding Jenner. Jenner with a shot. Stopped again by Mersak. Prairie on a move. And we'll stop it away. That ends the second period. One goal main for Sillinger. And we'll get the third period coming up right after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you shortly. You're watching the NHL 24 on EA Sports. Third period coming up. And we are ready. Hope you're having fun with us here on ice. And we're ready for the third period. This is it. The last one will be the end of the regulation period. 
with my guys in between. This was a fun, exciting to go with in between collision courses. Let's have what the response is. Boomer, what is your call? I've really been enjoying this one of the most uh, players of all the time. Not just to go with anybody else is going and getting out of the way. They've really been spotting it on really well. You're just doing a lot that hard, trying to configure it in between from here. It's just not really that hard it is, but it's just how, how tough it is to try to stick them out. But not too worried to go with fence. You're just trying to make that one feel like it is a hard one to take. And we have a delay penalty call. That's a delay of the game on the Earth Nitrex. And we have a power play on for the Jackets. It's not a perfect way to do this. This is how it happens right away. Because you move it way too soon, you're not going to make that one feel like you're good to go. You're going to have a tough time when you try to stop on that run. Now the power play is on, you have to go for it. The win comes in as Marcenko right again to Wrensky. Wrensky backhand! Locked away as Radish will have the puck. Now I love when this is a tough transition. This is a fun one, exciting matchup. You gotta make that one feel like this is a good one to try to make them go down. Stop by Rezogates. Now back again and for during the power play as it's still running. Here's another one, comes to Rensky. That pass has been broken up. And Whistle with the puck now and his way down. He fires it out in the Columbus territory. Here he comes back on the other side of the offense now finds Shinkakov. Chinookov, right over again, Marcenko. Shot! He the way by Marcenko! He's going to hop in for the whistle. It's just only 17.33 to go. Now, what's the call for the second period? I have the call on the third one. As fan, what do you have from here for how they do in the last period? Thank you so much. I was really looking for a great open receiver. This wild pass has been turning to like a, a fantastic app that was really been turning it over. But this is a lot of a hard offense that was really like starting changing things up. They're going over this and the pressure this line turned to be a way harder than expected. But not to worry again, they're making this one feel like it's a good thing. Just a lot of a hard right maintain the response and turn it over. I'll find out if there's another player in this band to go with the flow. Back to you. Looks like he's out there, ready to get back on our work. And right now the power plays over as the Chicago has already had his full strength as the time period expired. It's a good way to always keep that one in there. It's a lot of the hustle in the major career. You just have to give the credit to them. Because you have no idea what's going to happen like that. If you're going to switch it around, you just got to make sure you're ready to get there in time. Just don't take the offense out there. That's what happens most of the game. Offside's whistle that's right now the face off is ready to appear. That is a big slam down. I can't tell you how that happened. Let's have the call for Johnny Gudera as fans stand by. Spot in the string is a top one to be clear at all risks. Johnny Gudera has been going right into this segment of turning up and down from this lane. For his passing percentage here after a trade win by the Calgary Flames, he is able to take his own curriculum and why the change except there again to do it all over the place. This is a tough one for other guys, but I'll be checking on him to see how well he does on his ice time for his shift. Back to you, there. Here's Kudarad out playing the game to Jenner. And Kudarad couldn't get the pass connection to work. Here's a pass to Kudera, and it goes double damn man takedown as Petard with the puck. Petard now finds Kurchinski. Here's another one as Petard break around, Severson knocks him down. That's going to be a very hard one to try to like stick him by. Here's Bovex, deep pass to Jigakov. Janaka, right to Bovex, hand off the game by Mirzak. Just 14 minutes remaining in the third. No goals remain here for Chicago. They are still trying to find them their way to get pressure. With the win, here's Murphy. Now find Kruczynski. Flagno with the cup puck cover. Battle for the puck loose. Vitar with the puck. Here's Murphy. In towards the right wing. Behind the net. That's hard. Long range shot 
scores! The flexion of current shot puts it in, passing Mercicant. That's whatever happens, they now got it back. What a great play in making for the Reds, for the Blackhawks. As you see that the Gurchev has just gotten that BD pass. When you give it up that clean, you just gotta hit that one right towards it. Fling it down, and that's where you can tell that is a good range to take that goal sight away from it. Blackhawks finally have an answer as now it goes with a 2-1 lead over the, over the Columbus Blue Jackets, but still a lot of time left in the third period. Here's Bean, he'll have it out here to Jerjak. He has it now to Bovest. With the puck, passing the bound by Sillinger. Looks now to Sharkov. Shoots him bound. Rebound take away. Hit the stop by again by Versek. Gershap with the puck. Now over again to Fogno. Resets the group. Now finds Vlasic. In the offensive inbound. Spins around. Looks it over, stopped by Mercer Case. Hold it back again as Bean has it. That is a tough one in range and bound. It's a close sight, not to the eye, but that was all it does, taken away from it. Not a choice one to go from here. He is now finding Bean. Fires it around the net. Bantilia will have it to again to Jurchek. Now passes back. Bryish with the puck. Slides it across the hall. Shot! Blocked by Bean and Mercer Kings. How that save? Impact. Finds Mercer Chad. Take a little bit of a crash in between the boards. No cross checking about. Looks to Marzenka. Diagonal to Vitalia. They won't pick up that one either. Marzenko's shot has been denied. Jones takes it back over to get the rage. In the attacking zone. Looks back. Hawk leaves his own. And here comes Radikov. Back to Ransky. Crossing bound. Mursak with the save. He's going to be quick here. Just got to make that one feel good. And to maintain it in front, that's how hard it is. He's trying to make that one feel like he is all into his bottom of his heart. The lineup is not really easy enough to just try to take him over. After a win for the Chicago faceoff, here's Johnson. Redsky with the puck steal. Denver fires around the net. Back to Jenner. Kick the puck over to Gudera. Wrensky now finds Gupser and said. Back to Gura on a puck and bound shot. Oh, he just had that save earlier. That is a close call as Gudera would have that trick motion and get that goal in. Well, you could tell that it was going to be a. Uh... Good road with that fucking bound. That's going to be a, like a lot of good takes. You know, that is a great cut. I really love to see how he's doing this, done this again. Because when he when he goes with another look, he wants to do that one all over it. He's like on a pressure. You got to watch out for him for sure. Good around. Finding the puck over. That's from Danford. And now back again to Johnson. Eight minutes remaining in the third. Already past the midway mark of the period. Good around takes over. He goes bang down. Says out of here. Cheno. As Murphy takes it over now to Turkiskin. Kurashev finds Pelagno. Pelagno finds Kurashev. Looks it over. Hit it down. That save puts up by Merzlikins. Better to Kurashev. Shot. Stopped by Merzlikins. He's got a great year. What a big save of a night. You always really have to tell that Merzlikins. He's like, unbelievable. You just do not believe how well he does. Here's the win as Columbus will have it on their own attack. He finds Pantilla. Give it over to America. Takes it blocking bound. Back to America. In the cutting bound. Pantilla pass is broken up. Here's Murphy. Pass to Kurchak. He finds five now. Lost the puck as Marasenko will have that back. Looks over. Ventilia shot. Hit the range. Stop away by Marasek. Now check up again to Pogno. Oh, he just got banged hit. 
first shot. Going good here for Mercer Kids on the great run and had it kicked out. With a new line change, Fogner with the puck. He's on the way down. Held the stop by Mercer Kids. Corrali with the puck with five minutes remaining. Passing it deep. Hold the Corrali. The puck went wide. Kurashev now finds Jones. He looks down the hall. Trying to take the puck away. Good stop by the defensive. Bobas with the puck now finds Corrali. Into Bobas. Hand it away. That's another reverse X save. Now Jones will have it here. Chicago back the other way. Only one goal in the third. He finds Retcha. And Jones have it here. Under four minutes remaining, looking to get a tie run. Stomped away again by Mercer Kids. Radish with the puck. Here's Hall. We run it and she scores! We are tied! It's two! Mr. Hall, he's all in the inbound. 265 in the game. Well, there's no way that he was going to make it around. He was like waiting here. Just a little bit of a slip cut move, and he just went in front. And you can tell that reaction went quickly from Herzogkins. He wasn't able to get, to get there right in time. That's going to be a hard one. What a play in bounds. As now it is a tie for end of this game. And goes with Taylor Hall with his first goal of the night. It's just happening. Because when you can't just tell that Taylor Hall is really there, make the inbound, you just have to make that one clear. And not this time! It goes back in the lead as Sheridan Kirkhoff with the goal! The fans are excited, and Chernikov had that goal release bit, and over again at the Merzak. Oh, that is excellent with that carry on. All of those happen now just took one hit, just went behind it, and it just said, boom, see you later. That's what happens most of the game, they never get away with that. And as that leadoff turns to be Chernikov, that's what happens most of the time. I've got a great play. This impact? It's not overtime. It won't be happening. But well, we'll find out if there, if there is. I've got a great look of it, and it looks like a draw cut. We'll have that goal release me. A lot of hard money taken by, but that's a lot of major careers in this game that turned out the best. We'll see what happens here. And here's the next goal coming in. Back to you. Now with another face-off ready to take again. The Blue Jackets finally made the answer. It is a 3-2 lead. Chicago wins the fist off. Blackhawks now fighting again to Reyes. In for the corner now, but to against the boards. Hall shot! Hold the stop by Mercer Kicks. Marcinko. Cross his way down. Finds Vernon. Trying to give up to Provorov. Provorov finds Vernon. Saracen tries again. He stopped the save. Pulls it back. Severson with the puck. Looks at him out. Shot blocked the nine. Kurashev with the puck. We're under two minutes remaining. It looks like they're going to get some extra man on here to get another one inbound. Good poke by the goaltender. Provorov on his way down. Tries to make a move. And a shot. It's the flood in the nine, and it's Jones with the block. Last minute remaining in the third. And they're going to try to see if they can get the odd with the extra skater on. The goaltender is empty. Now they're ready for the false pressure on its way. Shot saved by Mercer Here's another one. Polino stopped the way inbound. Puck gets cleared out and they will go right back toward the Chicago territory. All the icing is whistled here with 124.3 seconds. The goalie net is still empty. It's still a 3-2 game. Looking to stop the run if they can get it down. Severson with the puck. And Denver clearing the puck out. Still icing whistled here on the on Blue Jackets with 17 seconds. Have a lot of chance percentage. The crowd is going wild in Nationwide Arena. Trying to look for another one to take the attack. Murphy knocked away. Severson and Dagford 
Last chance for the blocks. No, not this time. The game is over and the Jackets take it all. What an excellent performance. All it comes down with the win as Chernikov takes it all. That's what happens now. I like this when this goes in and the goaltender got it all. It's great to have that salute, and I'm guessing that they finally made this win. We all salute fans. I can't agree with that one. They really enjoyed it, and I had fun too. Yeah, it's a great one to have it here. Keeping us here all uncomfortable down. That is true. With me, Terry Cruz, along with Fan, and Boomer, and DJ Beat. Sorry, Gangs the Beast. This has been a presentation of the NHL on EA Sports. Look for more coming back in for our next game as the Devils are away to face against the other team of Florida Panthers. And with that being said, thanks for watching and peace out, folks. For a while, it's the NHL 24. Take it away, there, son of peace. Alright guys, thank you so much. As right now, this one's turned to be a close range inbound. But look at this. Kurtzikov just show how it's done. They finally have that lead right away in this moment. And you can't just say that, hey, this team got a lot of us stats. This ability was turned to be all over this. As Chetnikov has got two goals in this game. One assist, five shots. Wow. He's been doing really well for his season, and right now the Jackets finally deserve a win. After two season loss against the other team of the Wings and the Devils, they finally made that win. And that puts a loss for the Blackhawks. That's a lot of tough range and bound, and they finally dug it out. This was an exciting matchup, I can't even tell you. This is how amazing this is, they've done the best. Now let's present your three star players of the game and with all your favorite of the total statistics on the right. Here's as we start with the third third star. We take over with nobody around here for the Blackhawks. That was all it does have with the Verisac. With that stop, it put up a great inbound to have that one all on their own. Then Ellis Merlskins with the second star with 37 saves. Only turns out just excellent work. And your first star player goes to your guard, Chinnikov, with two goals, one hit, two hits, and one assist. Here are the total stat statics of this game as it goes with statistic nearby. 39 to 38, close one in the range, 62 for Chicago on the hits, over 20. 10 57 over 5 37 for the Blue Jackets. 91 percentage of the passing over 78. 16 face-off wins that got evened up and got pretty good in between. Two-minute penalty kill was on Chicago and no power play goal as their, their time for the, the Blue Jackets was just two minutes for their power play. And as for being said, I hope you enjoyed this one and look for the next one coming in as we got the Devils facing against the Florida Pampers at the Amaranth Arena. Well, as we're being right now, it will be their 30th anniversary for the Florida Pampers. With that being said, thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports Style. This is Southern Beast. You can find me on my social media on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Link to my about page. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions on this one here, make sure to leave a comment down below. I will be happy enough to appreciate you. I've done so many reactions, and there'll be more, and there'll be a new skit coming your way soon. You keep your eyes on. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you all, and have a wonderful evening. Good night, folks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.